back to school. It is so great to see all of your faces in person again. Okay, so I thought today we may start... What if they close school again? Yeah, is this temporary? What if we can't see our friends again? What if one of us forgets to wear a mask? What if someone next to me coughs? Oh no, what if I cough? Okay, okay guys, listen, listen. I know we're all confused and anxious right now. You're all asking a lot of really good questions. But do you know what all of your concerns have in common? feels like it's upside down and there's nothing we can do about it? Sure, but what we're doing right now is called what if it? Our mind what ifs when we think about an uncertain future. It's our brain's natural response to stress. So how do we stop? Well, think of it this way. You're packing for a long road trip. You bring an emergency or medical kit. That's called a backup plan. So maybe we don't need to stop asking what if, but our brain just needs a backup plan. So why don't we try if-then statements? Something like this? If school closes again and I can't see my friends, then I'll make sure to hang out with them online in class. Set up group game nights, something like that. Amazing, exactly like that. We can also turn what if into what is. Bring our mind back to the present. What is it that we see, hear, touch, feel, taste right now? Just take a minute to bring our mind from the future to the present. I have a couple more ideas for what if thing. So if we could take out our superpower notebook and turn to chapter four.